Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And yes, my voice is barely there. I will do my best to communicate uh, so that you can understand what I'm saying. Today, we're, I'm going to come back and take a look. I reviewed this one just a few days ago. It was sent over to me by um, the Red Dragon Shop uh, to take a look at. It's the K617 Fizz. Um, I had the misunderstanding that this was one of their newer ones that uses the new style hot swap socket from Otemu that accepts most switches, uh, but it's not. It's one that has an LED that sticks out above the PCB, meaning that it needs a switch that has a window and also needs uh, only three pins and the two metal pins need to be the skinny type. Otherwise, they're not going to go in here. So I wanted to do a couple of things today. I'm going to go ahead and take off all the keys, take the switches and lubricate them, then put them back on and do a sound test to see how it sounds that way. Then change out the keycaps and see what kind of difference that makes. And then find some switches that will work in here that I, that I should be able to find from my collection. Um, I may go with um, some A-Jazz bananas. That's what I'm thinking at the moment, but we'll see once we get there. And I want to um, see how good I can make the keyboard sound without actually opening it up. Uh, but I am going to in a further video, maybe in this one, depends on how much energy I have, uh, the sickness, one second I'm lucid, the next second I'm not. So if I just pass out, just check the next video okay <laughs> so anyway I'll start off um, I'm gonna speed up through a lot of this stuff and only come in when I need to talk but I want to see how I, what's the best I can get this sounding with its stock parts and then without stock parts but by changing out pieces here and there without opening up the case and then what happens when we open up the case and decide to put something in there because there's definitely some space in there. Um, silicone pour would be the easy um, call here, but perhaps I'll pick something else. I know that I did zip and fit for the, um, the CIY X79 that I also sold under a different name. I can't remember the name of it, but it was on sale for $20. That zip and fit made a huge difference. Um, more so, I think, than uh, a silicone port though it could have just been that particular case so let's go ahead and get started and see how good can we make this outdated in 2022 keyboard really sound let's get at it so just out of curiosity I wanted to uh, get the uh, width of these Zero it out. All right, I'm going to say they're about 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So they're just under a millimeter. Yeah, 0.8. Um, I know that there's a lot of little hacks where uh, people will put either super glue or even um, I've seen resin, I've seen um, uh, silicone, I've seen d different things poured into the caps unless you're doing an exact amount for each one and the problem is each cap isn't you know the same size so you'd have to figure out the math proportionally um, I just don't feel that's a worthwhile effort so I'm going to stick with the stock caps but I do want to for you guys to listen to the difference when we do change out the caps and see how much of a difference the caps can make to the sound every part makes a difference they're all working in concert together the keycaps the switches and the keyboard and um you know I, I just when somebody says oh well that's the only thing that matters or the switch doesn't matter or, you know something like that's like come on folks every piece of the keyboard matters when it comes to the final sound that it's going to make so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and pull off the switches and i'm going to go lube them using my time lube method but let me go ahead and pull these switches off and i'm going to go lube them up and then we'll come back and do a sound test with lube switches 
So these are just your regular reds, just real quick. So you, you guys can take a look. These are Otemus. Um, but they're your regular uh, Otemu reds. These Otemu reds have a little bit of spring ping and have a very light uh, spring, I want to guess, in the 35 to 40 gram range. So, I don't know. Let's pull them out. Let's lube them up. And uh, let's see what it sounds like. All right, we got the switches added there. As you might have noticed, Otemu styles hot swap sockets or these the Milmax um, are quite. Uh, they're tight, so, um, but the beauty is you don't have to worry about, you know, breaking the socket. You're, you're going to break a switch before you break a socket. Let me go ahead and take off these stabilizers. These are pretty much about the cheapest stabilizers you can get, and they don't even match. That one's like a clear. This one's like a white. So we are going to, uh, probably going to plumber mod them just to give them a little bit more stability because they were very very rattly um, which I think that kind of goes along with doing the or moving the switches so let me go ahead take these out and leave them out so I can remember to take care of that when I come back I'm gonna go move the switches while I take in a little bit of the boob too and then I'll be back here shortly So I do want to apologize. In my fog brain state, I actually had record on pause when I opened her up. Um, there wasn't much to see in there but the PCB. Um, I put in some sip and fit just for a quick way to fill the bottom. There wasn't that much space anyway. I could have done a silicone pour, but that would have taken a little bit longer. I also added some of the thinnest strips that I have um, of uh, basically they're the the air sealing strips, uh, but they're the adhesive backed uh, neoprene um, below the plate, and this is a plastic plate, um, like many of the, the these K6 series from Red Dragon are. Uh, and although I was able to get a much better sound out of this one, this one being the um, I believe this is the six. This is a 631, this is 65%. Um, I use it as my control board for my video workstation. I really enjoy it. I did, I believe I got, got it to sound good. Um, I did several sound tests, which I will now be sharing 
uh, with you um, with different switches as well as different caps I did use some I thought I was gonna be using Akko whites but I grabbed the wrong container and they were the Akko white wines which are a newer tactile switch from Akko which uh, they're a little clacky for my personal preference but I have not lubed them though I did um, in the video I did show that I did uh, plumbers mod the stabilizers um, I did lube and did a sound test with it lube and I think that's honestly the best that I was able to get it to sound I also did a three layers of tempest tape mod as well as added a layer of PE foam mod above the PCB so um, despite everything I did um, and that's going to be the last sound test in, in this video. It's just going to be all original parts, but I've added the zip and fit. I've done the Tempest tape mod. I've done the plumber's mod. And I've done the PE foam. So, um, again, for the price that this board that they're asking for, it's too much. $45 is too much for this board because it's outdated. Um, but if you can find this board for $15, $20, I mean, you, you, with a little work, you can get it to sound decent. It's a 60% board. Um, it has a plastic plate, whereas a lot of the budget boards are more going to have steel or aluminum. So that's definitely something to consider. I know I prefer plastic because most of the time I can get the sound that I want to out of it. And I think that if I spent a little bit more time with it, I could probably get it to sound better. But I just this is outdated and it's too much money for this for for what you're getting for this keyboard especially the limitations that it puts you at with what switches you can actually use so until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on but make sure to stay tuned because there's a few sound tests following this and i'm sorry about fog brain i just didn't I it said recording but I didn't just look a little bit over to see that it was paused so my apologies for that hope you guys are doing well